quick links. These are Shimano's easy way of joining two ends of a bike chain together. You may see them called different things by the brands, Power Link, Power Lock, C Link, Campag, Connects Link. Uh, they will do the same job. On most quick link packets, they will say simple use. You put it on your bike, you use it, you take it off, you put it in the bin. This can be a barrier to many people waxing their chains. Having to replace it each time, it can get quite expensive and a bit frustrating. So is this true? Do you need to replace it each time? Yes, it is. The manufacturers cover themselves. There's, there's a small ridge normally on the, the, the link itself. And as you click the chain into place, there's a positive engagement and that holds the link in place. Personally, I don't replace them every time and I've never had a failure with any of the links from any of the brands, but there is definitely a wearing and you can feel after a couple of times that the, the engagement is less positive and that's probably the time you need to replace it. Are there reusable quick links on the market? Yes, Wiperman make one. There's a number of other brands. Um, KMC make one. I swapped over to the Connex Wiperman, no, the Wiperman Connex 12 speed one about 18 months ago, just for peace of mind. And I've used the same one. Well, I've used two different ones on two different bikes over that time, and they've both been perfect. There's no, no sign of wear, all good. KMC also make one called the Missing Link and YBM, YBN make one uh, that's semi reusable and that's good for about five uses. I haven't tested either of these. The Connex one is still going strong, so I'll use that as long as it's good. Are all quick links compatible with all chains? No, they're not. First of all, stick within the chain speed range, i.e. 11 speed or 12 speed or 13 speed for a Campag Ekar uh, gravel group set. Then you're pretty much safe to mix and match between different group sets and uh, quick link manufacturers. Except for if you have one of uh, SRAM's flat top chains, you'll need their power lock uh, quick link. How do you install a quick link? Let's go to the bike and check it out. At this point, I presume you've already correctly sized your chain and waxed it and it's ready to go on. Here I'm using a SRAM power link, but the principle works the same. Let me show you a close up of the link. It actually has an arrow on it, points in the direction of travel of the chain. This is actually a Shimano chain here. So you'll see it works with mix and match. Slide each pin into each side of the plate, making sure that the groove clicks into place and add a little tension to the chain. As you can see here, it's already holding itself on. Place the chain around the front chain ring. I'm holding the back wheel here because ideally it would normally be on the ground. Put some tension on the pedal and you can hear the power link click into place. It's important to wait for that click, the positive click. Make sure everything's in place, then you can take the tension off of the rear mech and you're ready to ride. To remove a quick or power link, you do the opposite action. So basically, take the tension off of the chain, if you can, on a SRAM rear mech like this. Shimano, you can't do that, but take the chain off of the front chain ring to give yourself a bit more slack and something to play with. Move the chain into a position where you can access the quick link. You'll need a special pair of quick link pliers and get them pretty much anywhere for about £10, $10. And all you do is simply pinch it together, take it out and it should be apart. There you go, it's as simple as that. Do I need to degrease my quick link? No, most of them come like this. This is a Shimano one. They come in a little bag and they are sealed and don't have any grease on them out of the factory. Whereas SRAM always stick the link in with the actual chain itself and it gets covered in grease. So you will need to degrease that first before you put it on the bike, especially if you're waxing. Links for SRAM are quite easy to get to as they are with any manufacturer. So 
you can do it with something like a silker chain stripper. You just uh, rub them down or any degreaser is quite easy to get in, wash them, dry them, make sure they're perfectly clean and in they're ready to go. Do you need to wax your quick link? No, you don't. Once you've waxed your chain, you pull it out and you'll probably have a covering of wax anyway over the end of the chain and there will be a plug in the hole at the end where you want to put your uh, quick link. So the actual surface where the quick link interfaces with the chain is already covered. It, is, it has too much wax on it. So you'll actually find when you put the quick link in, you need to push out like a plug of wax that's in the end of the chain and there will already be a nice coating internally for that. So you, you don't need to wax the quick link is what I'm saying in a long way around. You'll also notice on the outside of the chain on the plate, there's a covering of wax. Ideally, or not ideally, you will actually need to remove that because that will hold off the pin when you push the two sides of the quick link together there's a slight groove on the on the pin that goes all the way through the chain and that if you have wax on the actual surface of the chain plate will stop it going all the way through the chain so the two sides of the link won't join together properly they need to snap together so you need nothing to kind of interfere with that holding it off that pretty much covers everything I can think of on quick links. If I missed something out, please leave it in the comments below. If you've got any little tips or tricks, again, leave those in the comments below. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe.